These video game series have been squeezed for every last penny. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game franchises that have been milked to death. For this list, we'll be looking at video game franchises whose properties have been exploited, expanded on, rehashed, and otherwise wrung dry due to how profitable they are. We're not saying that there aren't any good or worth playing, only that their creators may be a little overzealous in the name of money making. Number 10, Guitar Hero. While its moment in the spotlight may not have lasted long, the Guitar Hero series put out a huge number of games in its heyday. The rhythm game franchise focused primarily on players pressing buttons on fake guitars to match well-known songs, accompanied by bright visuals. This gameplay changed very little between installments, with the most notable differences being which songs were offered. This allowed its creators to pump out a whopping 12 games in 5 years. Given its rapid decline and absence these days, Guitar Hero was definitely milked to death. Number 9, Angry Birds. As the best-selling mobile game franchise of all time, Angry Birds features gameplay copied for, uh, uh, reminiscent of games like Crush the Castle, but repackaged with colorful animals. The series' runaway success led to follow-ups, spin-offs, and even two film adaptions. However, the sheer number of Angry Birds games has been somewhat excessive, as around 25 entries have been released in the last decade. The series hasn't shown any signs of slowing down yet, but at some point we imagine Angry Birds will miss enough targets that its golden eggs will lose some of their luster. Number 8, Mega Man. The Blue Bomber has seen his share of games over the years, and then some. Starting out as a platform shooter, Mega Man quickly grew to become an expansive franchise, with a large number of spin-off series within it, encompassing genres like action-adventure games and RPGs. It got to the point where in the 90s till the mid-2000s, Capcom was releasing on average 3 Mega Man games per year across all those spin-off series. Granted, Capcom has slowed down recently, but with the recently released Mega Man 11 and numerous collection compilations, it looks like the milking might be starting all over again. Number 7, Pokemon. Catching them all becomes less and less likely every year. Pokemon is a gigantic multimedia franchise, comprised of animes, movies, card games, toys, theme parks, and naturally, a plethora of video games, all focused on the titular pocket monsters. Although the primary series of games features the classic catching and training formula, Pokemon has spin-offs involving everything from photography to pinball. Nintendo is well known for milking its franchises, but Pokemon is on another level entirely, at least when it comes to branding. That said, this series may now have hit its breaking point, with Pokemon Sword and Shield being unable to include every Pokemon ever made. Number 6, Halo. Before this is all over, Promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. This sci-fi military action franchise helped put Microsoft on the gaming map. Much like other console selling series, its parent company has been reluctant to let it go. Halo initially featured a trilogy of games telling the story of Master Chief and his fight to save the galaxy from the devastating Halo weapons, along with a few spin-offs and a prequel. After the trilogy and spin-offs, Bungie, the initial development studio, retired from making the series. Since then, 343 Industries has taken over, pushing the number of games released under the Halo banner to almost one every year. While recent games play as well as they ever have, they ring somewhat hollow now. Buck, you buy the first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. Number 5, Resident Evil. Capcom strikes again. One of the company's biggest hit franchises, Resident Evil is a survival horror action series with an emphasis on zombies. 
Since its debut in the mid-90s, the franchise has spawned a new entry nearly annually, with some years seeing as many as three. Along with a host of spin-offs and remakes, Resident Evil is also the most successful video game film adaption ever, grossing over 1.2 billion globally. This frightful franchise looks like it's going to be around for years to come. Number 4. Street Fighter It's showtime! Let's get started! Fight! Would you look at that, another Capcom franchise. Are you sensing a trend here? This seminal fighting game series has become infamous for milking its fans for as much money as possible. Although Street Fighter has released a relatively small number of main games, the series achieves maximum profitability by re-releasing the game with minor updates and changes. Most notably is its second installment, which received over half a dozen different re-releases. Add in the numerous spin-offs, crossover games, along with other media, and you can see how Capcom has managed to get the most bang for their buck. You'll never find the answer you're seeking if you just proceed blindly. Number 3. Five Nights at Freddy's Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Even indie games can create oversaturation. The Five Nights at Freddy's franchise is a survival horror point-and-click series that follows employees of a nightmarish children's restaurant chain populated by murderous animatronic animals. Despite only being five years old, this series has already pumped out six entries, which offer little variation between them. This allowed the creator to release two per year, causing FNAF to set a world record for the highest number of game sequels released within a single year. Whether they're playing it themselves or watching people overreact to jump scares online, it's clear that people crave more nights than just five at Freddy's. Number 2. Assassin's Creed But there are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. A historical fiction-based action-adventure series, Assassin's Creed follows a brotherhood of assassins who carry out select killings throughout a variety of iconic locations and time periods worldwide. In the 12 years since its creation, the franchise has produced 11 main games along with a similar amount of spin-off titles and even a film adaption. Like our previous entry, Assassin's Creed has managed such high output in part due to its core gameplay remaining almost identical across all of its games, with the primary differences being plots and settings. While the games are fun, you sometimes get the feeling that if you've played one, you've played them all. Nice try. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Call of Duty The first-person shooter genre has been defined in the last decade and a half in large part due to this military franchise. However, part of the reason it has been so influential is because there have been so dang many games. In the 16 years since its inception, Call of Duty has seen 17 games in its principal series with at least that many side games. All of these titles end up averaging out to around 2 to 3 per year. This, combined with the series' cookie-cutter gameplay, has left a lot of gamers feeling like the well has run dry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.